clock goes from 0 to 1, which means there is a positive trigger on the clock. J equals K equals 0. The flip-flop is in the no change state. Therefore, the output of Q and Q bar does not change from the present state and Q equals 0 and Q bar equals 1. Clock goes from 1 to 0, which means there is a negative trigger on the clock. J equals 1 and K equals 0, and clock goes from 0 to 1. Therefore, the flip-flop is in the set state since J equals 1 and K equals 0, making Q equals 1 and Q bar equals 0. K changes from 0 to 1 and J stays the same. Clock goes from 0 to 1. J equals K equals 1, which means that flip-flop is in the toggle state. Therefore, Q and Q bar are the complement of the present state, and thus Q equals 0 and Q bar equals 1. J and K both change to 0, putting the flip-flop in the no change state. There is a positive trigger on the clock. Therefore, Q and Q bar are the same as the present state. Q equals 0 and Q bar equals 1. J changes to 1 and K stays at 0. There is a positive trigger on the clock. The flip-flop is in the set state, thus Q equals 1 since J equals 1 and Q bar equals 0. J stays at 1. There is a positive trigger on the clock. K then changes to 1 and then back to 0. There is no change on Q and Q bar. Q equals 1 and Q bar equals 0. J equals K equals 0. There is a positive trigger on the clock. The flip-flop is in the no change state. Therefore, Q and Q bar are the same as the present state. Q equals 1 and Q bar equals 0. The flip-flop is still in the no change state. There is a positive trigger on the clock. Q and Q bar stay the same as the present state. Q equals 1 and Q bar equals 0.